This ain't smart, ain't he? What's up, Palace Drone? This is James Powell coming to you from the works, where the Ho Ninjas are holding their holiday open house. The Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Education Center opened their doors to new and returning students, offering visitors multiple interactive experiences. We want the kids to come learn while having fun, and solving and learning how to solve Ruby Cube is a great introduction about algorithmic thinking. And in, open, in the open house style, we want the kids to be able to engage and learn a few Ruby Cube tricks. The featured portion of the event was a Rubik's Cube demonstration by Ethan Jan, a world record Rubik's Cube solver and contestant on the most recent season of America's Got Talent. Oh, well, we've been a part of Code Ninjas for over a year now. We come every single week. When they started promoting that Ethan was going to come here and solve Rubik's Cubes really, really fast, he got very, very excited. We watched videos of him on YouTube, and so we didn't want to miss it. I like seeing world champions and what they can do normally, and then, like, they can also know how to influence others to become like them. For Ethan, teaching kids how to solve a Rubik's Cube is an opportunity to improve the way they see the world. One of the first things that comes to mind uh, about the benefits of learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube is improving your techniques for memory. I think a lot of things that I have learned outside of Rubik's Cubes after learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube were a little bit easier to learn because solving a Rubik's Cube involves memorizing algorithms or sequences of moves. And in order to memorize all of these different moves, I need to come up with different memory techniques. That's what a lot of people do. I do that quite a lot. And I think that helps me come up with ways to memorize other things. When you try to solve Rubik's Cube, you really think about one step at a time to the angle. And there is different technique and algorithm to solve it. And when kids go into the process of trial and error and applying the algorithm to solve Rubik's Cube, it's very satisfying to learn the algorithm. For the approximately 75 children who are on hand for the event, Ethan feels there may be a lesson in the Rubik's Cube beyond the 3x3 three three squares. What I would want other people to take away is that it is that learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube and improving, getting faster at it, there are things that are achievable even if at the beginning the Rubik's Cube seems impossible to solve. The children and parents who made it out to the holiday program met a budding star and took away the opportunity to see the world in a whole new way. For Elsa Media, I'm James Powell.